All right, from 2016, last book for today, I have Inside the Magic, The Making of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Hardcover. This is embossed. Pretty, ain't it? There. There is the back of the book. There's your synopsis. And I forgot to mention, I can't believe I'm over 500 books on this playlist now. So this is Warner Brothers and Harper Design. I'm going backwards because I want to see if there's an index. Sometimes. Nope. No index. <laughs> Sometimes there's an index. Or a table of contents. Or what the hell ever. And then there's not. Mm. There's your contents. But I always look for an index first. Just to be safe. And of course it wants to play with that. So... I did like Fantastic Beasts. I reviewed that. It's a good film. But I never covered this book. Because I didn't know it existed. And I saw it on the shelf and I was like, fuck it. I'll cover it. I've covered other ones for the Fantastic Beasts saga. So, why not cover something new? Uh... But yeah, I like covering stuff for Potterverse. Like, that's fun. Because it's new material for me. And it's new stuff to just throw in the channel for fun. So. Oh, they're doing trick-or-treating at the elementary. Nice. How do I know this? I'm looking over across the street and there's kids in costumes. <laughs> Cute. I want to take pictures, but nah. So this goes over the entire film, just, you know, behind the scenes shit, honestly, which is cool. So. If you like your behind the scenes stuff, you're going to enjoy this. If not, that's fine. Nope. Oh, somebody's dressed as Spider-Man. How cute. Oh, precious. So cute. Oh, cute. Anyway. Yeah, I like kids. They are adorable as fuck. And no, I'm not doing trick-or-treating this year. Nah. <laughs> no money. <laughs> And honestly, the candy choices suck, but maybe next year I'll do it. So you get behind the scenes, character bios, uh, more text and shit. And wands, which is really cool. And I've covered tons of Potterverse books, so you can check those out at your leisure. But if you don't care for this shit, then it's not for you. But if you are one of those diehard fans that wants to have everything Potterverse and Fantastic Beasts, well, here you go. If you're looking for a book to smack your kid with, this is a good book to use because it is light, it is firm, and yeah. It'll do the trick. It'll put them in their place. If you're looking to enhance your skills in the art of book foo, you should get this book. It can be used as a giant shuriken to knock out your child. Or anybody that tries to invade your home. Yeah, I'm giving away book foo secrets. Stop me. <laughs> But, man. Uh, I don't even own... No, no, my sister owns a Niffler. Or I own a Niffler Funko, I forget. This is a good book. I like it. I don't need it, though. So, that's that. And we're done. Ain't that cool? So, 
I will be back later with movies. I have to watch two and then review. So stay tuned.